so glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. He didn't have to let me live. He didn't have to let me live. I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. I'm so glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. Oh, he didn't have to let me live. He didn't have to let me live. I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. I'm glad, glad to be here this morning. Sing it one more time. I'm so glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. It's a joy, it's a joy to be in God's service. It's a joy to be in God's service. To be. It's a joy to be in God's service one more time. He didn't have to let me leave. He didn't have to let me leave. It's a joy to be in God's service one more time. Come on, somebody say. It's a joy to be in God's service. It's a joy to be in God's service. It's a joy to be in God's service one more time. He didn't have to let me leave. He didn't have to let me leave. He didn't have to let me leave. It's a joy to be in God's service one more time. And I'm so I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. He didn't have to let me live. He didn't have to let me live. I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody clap your hands. Are you glad to be here this morning? I say, I'm glad you, are you glad to be here this morning? Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. I'm going to bless his name. My he is my redeemer. He is my savior. Jesus, Jesus is worthy. He is worthy. I'm gonna bless His name. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus is worthy. You are worthy, Lord. Jesus is worthy. You are worthy, Lord. Jesus is worthy. I'm gonna bless His name. Jesus is worthy. He's my redeemer. Oh, he's my savior. He's my savior. Yes, Jesus, Jesus is, is worthy. worthy. I'm gonna bless His name. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Yes. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Yes. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. I'm gonna bless His name. I'm gonna bless His name. He's my redeemer. He's my savior. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus is worthy. Yes, he I'm is. I'm gonna bless His name. Oh, oh, Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Come on, somebody. Jesus is worthy. 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 I'm gonna bless His name. He's my redeemer. Jesus is worthy. Hallelujah. I'm gonna bless his name. Come on, somebody bless his name. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Yes. Jesus is worthy. 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 J
Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. I'm gonna praise His name. Oh, He's my Redeemer. He's my Redeemer. He's my Savior. My Savior. Jesus is worthy. I'm gonna bless His name. Wonderful name of Jesus. Bless the wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. Bless the wonderful name of Jesus. I will bless the wonderful name of Jesus. Bless the wonderful name of Jesus. No other, there is no other name. Hallelujah. How I love the name of Jesus. Oh, how I love the name of Jesus. How I love the name of Jesus. No other name I know. There's healing in the name. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. No other name. I know no other name I no other name no other name I know hallelujah hallelujah come on somebody clap your hands he is my redeemer he is my savior this morning hallelujah hallelujah oh and he lived, he died, but he rose again on high. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together one more time. My Savior, Redeemer, lifting me from the mighty clay. Almighty, forever, I will never be the same since you came near. From the everlasting to the world the holy land. Sing one more time, my Savior, my Savior, Redeemer, lifting me from the mighty clay. Almighty, forever, I will never be the same to you can be. From the mighty clay, Almighty, forever, I will never be the same to you can be. From the everlasting to the world we live, the holy Lamb of God, my Savior, my Savior, Redeemer, you lifted me from the mighty clay. Forever, I will never be 
the saints that you can be For me for last year of my heart Lord open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you open the eyes of my heart open the eyes I want to see you I want to see you to see you I am lifted up As we sing, holy, 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 I want to see you. Holy, 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 you are holy, holy, holy. To see you, to see you, I am lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Oh, put out your power, Lord. As we sing, oh, holy, holy, to see you, I am lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Put out your power, Lord. As we sing. Lord, open the eyes. I want to see. Come on, do you want to see the Lord this morning? Oh, sing it one more time. Open the eyes. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Sing it one more time. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you. I am lifted up. Shining in the light of your love. Oh, pour out your power and love as we sing. Somebody lift your hands and declare He's holy this morning. You are holy, Lord. Oh, yes. I want to see you, Lord. Holy, holy. You are holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Praise the name above all names, the one who reigns forever, still the same. Praise the name, Jesus, name above all names, you still the same. Man. 
ransom me and let the flood His mercy reigns had no comprehension of what the kingdom of heaven was but now our eyes have been opened amen we have been born into a kingdom of God amen that the world cannot see it cannot enter into without the power of the knowledge of Jesus Christ praise God I'm glad today to be a part of that kingdom I'm glad today to be a part of that kingdom amen Jesus said it this way, except a man be born again of the water and of the Spirit, he's not going to see that kingdom. Amen. He's, his eyes are not going to be able to see into what God has for those who will open their hearts. Amen. We're going to go to him in prayer this morning. Uh, we're praying for Sister Songay Lewis for healing and uh, for her job. Amen. We know that God is able to take care of all of our needs. Amen. Praise God. Praying for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wright. They are the grandparents of Craig and Racine. They are both diagnosed with cancer. We know that God is able to heal in Jesus' name. Amen. We know that God is able to go outside of the four walls of this church. Amen. God goes around the globe in an instant faster than the internet, faster than the speed of light. Amen. As fast as our prayers move from our heart to his throne. Amen. Let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for revival. Amen. In this city. Let's pray that God fills every single seat up in the house. Amen. I want to be a soul winner. I want to be a part of the kingdom of God. 
I want to be part of the fellow helpers to the truth. Amen. So let's take these needs together. You got a need here this morning. Let's raise those things up to God. Let's go to Him in prayer. Lord, thank you for your goodness. Thank you, God, for eyes that see. Thank you, God, for your power and your glory, God, being here with us today. I'm thanking you, Jesus, for meeting with us here in this building and letting the power of God minister and meet the needs of the people who are here. Mr. and Mrs. Wright, God, let the power of God heal them. Cancer is not a problem for you. You can go right now to where they're at and bring about a healing touch. Let them know that your power is ministering to them right now, Sunday morning, September 13th, 2015. Let them feel the power of your touch. Minister to Sister Songe Lewis, God, you know the need that she has for healing and God for her job. And here there were many other needs lifted up, God. Burdens, cares, worries, and concerns of your people. Let the glory of God have its way in our midst, God. Minister to those who are not knowing which way to go. Give direction in the Spirit, God, today. God, the steps of good men and women are ordered of the Lord, and you delight in the pathway. Let light come to the pathway today. And Lord, in this building, let revival, let revival touch every heart. We ask you, God, in this building today, from Sunday school classes to the auditorium here, let the power of God have its way, ministering to the lives of your people. Have your way here today. Let the power of God do a work. And Lord, we give you the glory for all that you're doing. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. And the church said amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You provide the fire. I provide the sacrifice You put out the Spirit I will open that inside Come on, somebody say You provide the fire You provide the fire I provide the sacrifice I provide the sacrifice. You put out the spirit. The spirit. I will open an inside. Come on, somebody lift your hands and say, Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Did you provide the fire? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I provide, provide the sacrifice. If you put out the Spirit, if you put out the Spirit, I will open and inside. If you provide the fire, Sacrifice to put out the spirit. I will, I will, I will open up and Oh, somebody sing and fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Oh, come on, somebody.
the fire Sacrifices for Oh, it should put out the spirit, the spirit. I will. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and say, "Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God." Fill me, fill me up, God. Fill me, fill me up. Oh, fill me up, God. Fill. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I overflow, I wanna run over, I wanna run over, fill me up, hallelujah, till I overflow, I wanna run over, I wanna run over, oh, fill me up, fill me up, till I overflow. I wanna run over. I wanna run. Fill me up. Fill me up. I wanna run over. I wanna run. Fill me up. Till I overflow. I wanna run. I wanna run over, fill me up. Come on, somebody. Oh God, I need you to fill me up. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over, I want to run over, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him praise this morning. Lift me up, Lord. Help me to overflow. I want to run over with your power. I want to run over with your spirit this morning. You believe that? You feel that way this morning? Fill me up, God. Why don't we just lift our hands and our voices one more time. Father, help me. I pray to overflow with your power. Help me to overflow with your spirit this morning. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fill me up. Anybody want to get full today? Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I can use a little bit more of him. Praise God. Amen. Why don't you take a moment, turn around, and greet one another this morning. We're happy to have all of our first-time guests in the house. Welcome to Cross Creek. We hope you enjoy the service this morning.
You may be seated this morning. So good to be in the house of the Lord and see each and every one of you this morning. Hallelujah. It's good to feel the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been blessed this summer, amen, to have a very special young lady in our midst. And uh, she has labored all summer long, and she's been here on several internships and that's Sister Jessica Brago. I want her to come up this morning. Would you give her a great big round of applause this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. We love her. We appreciate her. I'll give you a hand there this morning. Don't want you to trip and fall down them steps. Amen. This is her last Sunday with us this morning. Amen. But... Hopefully it won't be the last. Hopefully she'll be back. You want to say something this morning? Testify. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. Um, I hate being put, put on the spot. But um, I love you all. You guys have become family to me. Thank you for just taking me in and all your hospitality and love to me. So God bless you guys. Stay right here. Amen. On behalf of the church, Sister Alyssa is coming this morning. We want to present Sister Jessica with some flowers. Let her know that we love her and appreciate her this morning. He stole my thunder. But um, the Bible says to give honor where honor is due. And I want to honor Sister Jessica today. She is an amazing woman of God. It has been an honor and a privilege to live with her over this summer. She is a prayer warrior. She is a woman of faith. She loves genuinely. She has the love of Christ in her. She loves everyone she comes in contact with. She lights up their world. She is contagious. She has an infectious laugh. If you've ever been around her, it's hilarious. But she is an awesome woman of God. And I know God has great 
plans for her in the future, and he's going to use her mightily, whether it be with the children or whether it be overseas somewhere, wherever he leads her. I know that she's sensitive enough, and she's going to follow the Lord. Jessica, I love you. Amen. Praise God. She has not only helped me personally and done a lot of secretarial things around the church, and I appreciate that very, very much, but she has labored diligently with brother and sister Valerie in the Sunday school department. She has taught Sunday school. She has done arts and crafts and, and has helped sister Valerie decorate the classrooms and just has done tremendous improvements for our Sunday school. Brother Valerie, he's going to come. He has a special presentation for God bless Brother Valerie. Praise the Lord, church. The Spirit of God is in the house this morning. I feel it, and it feels good. I've been wore out, but this morning I feel energetic. And uh, that's good because I want to do this with energy. Sister Jessica has been a true blessing to the Sunday school department. Uh, decorating Sunday school rooms is a gift. It's a talent. Just anybody can't do it and try, but just don't get it right. Sister Jessica, you got it just right, and it's been amazing. Um, I have a certificate here that says, from the Cross Creek Apostolic Church Sunday School Department, a certificate of appreciation presented this 13th day of September 2015 to Sister Jessica Braga for outstanding service and, and dedication to our children and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Sister Jessica. There's a card there. And we got you a, a, a small gift. And if you didn't know this already, I, I'm going to tell you one of the gifts that's in the bag. I am from Louisiana, home of the Duck Dynasty group, if you ever heard of those. They're from my hometown. So we got you a Duck Dynasty um, uh, devotional. Okay. And that way, uh, you'll always remember me and my family. And we'll absolutely remember you always and forever. Thank you. And God bless you. Amen. Let's give her another round of applause. We appreciate Sister Jessica so very, very much. Amen. To God be the glory. You want to say I just wanted everybody to know what a blessing she's been to me. As all of you know, I had ne uh, neck surgery three times. And Sister Jessica jumped in. I never had to wash the dishes. I never had to unload the dishwasher, uh, uh, bring in the groceries. I mean, she was just wonderful to me. And she came right at the right time. I had my first surgery in April, and she didn't had no idea. But God knew what was going to go on in my life. And he sent me a wonderful helper. We love you, Jess. Amen. Praise God. All right. We're going to take her out for dinner, so her day's not over. So, to God be the glory. Brother Michael's coming this morning with some morning announcements. God bless him. Well, everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Isn't the Lord good to us this morning? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, this Sunday night, tonight, uh, all the young people will be meeting at Sister Rahman's house uh, for an ice cream social and connecting uh, with one another. So if you have a teenager uh, in living in your home uh, from 12 to 18, uh, then this is the spot for them this evening. Please bring your children out. We have brochures in the main lobby. You can stop by, grab one, has the address and the time. We will be meeting at 6 o'clock tonight. Also, the youth's way of saying thank you to Sister Jessica. Uh, this will be our send-off from the youth group to her tonight. Amen. Praise God. Also, uh, this Friday, if you are one of the Purpose Institute students, uh, you have a class this weekend with Pastor. Uh, that will be Friday night at 7 o'clock. Amen. And then we move to the month of October. We have uh, many events that are happening in the month of October that you want to look out for. The first one would be October 4th, our International Day. Uh, a very big celebration here at Cross Creek. We have many, I'm sure you can look around you today and see many diversities among us here today. And I thank God for that because I think that is a representation of what heaven is going to look like. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. 
Uh, that has been our goal and our mission to take the gospel to the whole world. And as you can see, you live in a metropolitan area where uh, many nations from all over the universe have gathered here uh, in our metro district. And uh, we have a very similar representation here in our church. So we will have food and fellowship and a great time of service um, and speaking and preaching. Uh, so please, October the 4th, 10 a.m. right here at Cross Creek. Every Everybody say praise the Lord. Amen. Um, on October the 10th, we will be having a Sunday school district-wide rally right here at our church. All the children from across Maryland will be gathered here for a special time of service. Amen. That will be October the 10th. I'm sure Brother Valerie and the Sunday school department uh, can provide you with further information. Amen. Uh, then also back to our youth on October the 16th and 17th, uh, another district event. The Maryland, D.C. Uh, District Youth Recharge will be right here. Um, youth, please, you need to come see me. I have some important information uh, regarding that service for you. You want to make sure that you come and talk to me about that. Uh, we have a very special speaker for that service. It will be the National uh, Youth uh, Secretary, um, uh, Brother uh, Matt Johnson. And uh, I was in a service with him back in Michigan uh, two, maybe three years ago now. And what a mighty job uh, he did by the Spirit of the Lord uh, that's upon his life. So it will be a very impactful time uh, for your teenagers. Amen. Amen. Then all of our ladies, we even have a special treat for you. Amen. Towards the end of the month of October, in fact, the last weekend of the month of October will be our district ladies retreat that will be held in Annapolis. Uh, please see Sister Overton and Sister Bleedy for further information regarding that. We will have more information as the week progresses. Amen. Praise God. Can everybody stand this morning? We're going to receive our tithe and our offering and present our, our sacrifice of giving unto the Lord this morning. As the ushers come, amen. Let us pray and we will take up the offering this morning. Father, Lord, we know that every perfect and good gift comes from above, Lord. And you have blessed us and you have multiplied us, oh God. And Lord, we just want to sow back into your kingdom, oh God, as a gratitude from our hearts to say thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Father, I pray, Lord, that you would bless all those who are searching and looking for jobs this morning. I pray, Lord God, that you would provide, Lord, that they might be a further blessing to your kingdom. And I pray, God, let your will be done in us and through us. And in the mighty name of Jesus, and everybody say amen. Amen. As they sing, would you march and come and give your offering this morning? God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom, that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out. Fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. I will live, I will not die. The resurrection power Christ alive in me. And I am free in Jesus' name. I will live, I will live, I will not die. The resurrection power 
We will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated. And we will shout it out, shout it out. And we will shout it out, shout it out. And we will. Shout it out, shout it out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody clap your hands this morning. Oh, God is fighting for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to give thanks to the Lord this morning too because there is a spirit of uh, thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And uh, there is so many things that we can thank God. So I want to invite you to lift your hands and give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. Give thanks to the grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ. of what the Lord has done for us. Kids, and now let the weak set high and strong. Let the poor set high. Because what
Let's lift our hands and our voices to Him. I give you thanks today, God. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for your power. I'm grateful for your spirit. I'm grateful for all that you have done in our lives, oh God. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. I think somebody ought to lift up his name. Somebody ought to give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him thanks. Hallelujah. Give him thanks again. Praise God. The Lord is good. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We love you today, Lord. We give you praise and we give you thanks. For truly you have blessed us. Hallelujah. So great a salvation that we have. I said, it's so great a salvation that we have. Hallelujah. If we don't have another reason in the world of praising, we ought to lift our voice and give him praise for salvation today. Thank you for saving me, Lord. Thank you for that amazing grace that was shed for me on Calvary. I love you. I thank you. I praise you today, Lord, for your grace is sufficient. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I feel a sweet presence of the Holy Ghost in this house. Hallelujah. I wonder if you would just close your eyes and lift your hands to heaven. And let's just entertain the presence for a moment. We love you, Lord. We lift our voice to you. We entertain your presence today, God. We need your touch. We need your strength. We need your power. We need your anointing. Sweep over us today with your blessings, I pray, oh God. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. I worship you. I praise you. I thank you today, God. I thank you today. I thank you today. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I would like to just acknowledge Sister Donna Walters and congratulate her this morning for becoming a recent citizen of the United States. Congratulations, sis. Wonderful. Praise God. Although I'm grateful for being a citizen, I'm more grateful for my name being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm a citizen of heaven. Can you give God praise for that? Amen. Praise God. Have your Bibles this morning. Turn with me to Luke chapter 6. I want to begin reading at verse 13. And we're so glad to have all of our first time guests. And if you'll stop by the front desk on the way out, we have a gift for you. Amen. Welcome to Cross Creek. We're glad that you are here. And I pray that this service is a blessing to you. Amen. As you're turning to the scripture, I also would like to say there's some cards on the seats. Please feel free to pick those up. We are having a Soul Winners Conference in November. On the back it says register free at crosscreekac.com because we will have limited seating. I'm asking all of our church to register and come to this Soul Winners Conference. Amen. I'm going to squeeze in another hundred seats. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's going to be tight. So please register now. Amen. 
so we can count on you. Amen. All right, Luke chapter 6, verse 13. If you have it, say amen. And when it was day, he called unto his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, or who also was named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Zedius, and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which was the traitor. And he came down with them, and he stood in the plain, and the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of all of Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. Praise God. Amen. And the whole multitude sought to touch him. For there went virtue out of him and healed them all. Amen. Praise God. God's a healer. God's a deliverer. God's a way maker. Let's lift our voices one more time. Lord, I'm grateful for your word and your power today. Thankful for your spirit that we feel in this house. Let your anointing rest upon me this morning, I pray. Let your will be accomplished. Touch every heart, touch every mind, and touch every soul. I pray in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. You may be seated this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. The thing that I want to point out is it says, And when it was day, he called unto him, him his disciples. Now, they had been following with him for a little while. But he had not yet declared them to be disciples or apostles. Amen. Praise God. And so then he gives us the list of all those that followed him, the 12 that were chosen. And then it tells us that he went down and he healed the sick and he cast out the devils. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is a powerful God, is he not? I'm going to say it again. God is a powerful God. There is none like him. I'll say it again. Jesus is powerful. There is none like him. Hallelujah. We know who we worship. We know in whom we believe. We know where we are going. There is none like him. Aren't you glad of that this morning? Clap your hands and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. By the help of the Lord, I want to preach to you this topic this morning. Common men for an uncommon calling. Common men and an uncommon calling. Amen. Praise God. Notice he called the 12 to follow him. There was a lot more that were following him, but he only chose 12. Hallelujah. I said he only chose 12. A lot of them, the scripture says, followed him for the fishes and the loaves. A lot of them followed him for what they could receive, their healing or the demons cast out. But he chose 12. Hallelujah. He taught 12. He empowered 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Help me preach this morning. Yeah, I don't want you to be quiet on me today. I've had enough of those Sundays. Amen. Hallelujah. We are apostolic. It's all right to say amen. It's all right to say praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you this morning, but I am glad that God chose me. Are you glad that God chose you? Somebody ought to lift up a voice and give him praise and say, Thank you, Lord, for choosing me. 
Thank you for calling me. Thank you for turning my life around. Thank you for making a difference in me, God. I didn't deserve it. I didn't earn it. But by your mercy and by your grace, you've turned my life around. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad you could have chose anybody, but you chose me. Hallelujah. I said he could have chose anybody, but he chose you. He chose me, and I'm so glad he did. I'm glad that I know him in the power of his might. I'm glad I know him in the fellowship of his suffering. I'm glad that I know him through death and burial and resurrection, and he has endued us with power from on high. I can lift my hands, and I can lift my voice and say, God, I am so thankful that you picked me up out of the miry clay. You called me forth. Hallelujah. You, hallelujah, touched me you turned me around and you made something as far as I'm concerned you made something beautiful out of my life hallelujah you could have chose anybody but you chose us you are blessed today I said you are blessed today you are blessed today you are blessed today. You are blessed simply in the fact that God chose you and God called you and God equipped you and God empowered you and he brought you out of darkness and he filled you with his power and he filled you with his glory. Hallelujah. He could have called anybody, but he called you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I think you ought to praise him. I think there ought to be a little praise in the house. Thank you for where you brought me from. Thank you for forgiving my, of my sin. Thank you for healing my body. Thank you for casting the demons out. Thank you for, hallelujah, turning those that were addicted around. Thank you for putting marriages back together. Thank you for giving me a job when I didn't have a job. Thank you, Lord. You've been good to me. I said, God's been good. God's been good. God's been good. Amen. He's been good to us. In Matthew 22 and 14, he said, For many are called, but few are chosen. For many are called, but few are chosen. It, the word says that for God so loved the world that he gave, what did he give? He gave his life on the cross of Calvary that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, hallelujah. I said he called us that we might have life. And that we might have not an average life, not a mundane life, but an abundant life. I don't know about you, but when Jesus found me, he picked me up out of darkness. He turned me around. He put something real down on the inside of my soul. I've come to praise him. I've come to thank him. I've come to lift him up. Why? Because Jesus is the greatest thing in my life. I wouldn't trade it for all the gold in the world. I wouldn't trade it for houses or land or cars or anything else. I wouldn't trade it for fame or position. I'm grateful today that he chose me. I'm grateful that he chose me. Aren't you grateful today that God chose you and picked you up and turned your life around? And that's exactly what he did to these apostles. He chose them. There was a crowd. There was a multitude. But he chose the 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the thing about the 12 was they were ordinary men, just like you and me. Amen. They had no track record. They weren't orators. They weren't theologians. They were really outsiders to the religious community. They weren't part of the establishment of the day. But they weren't chosen 
because of their ability. They weren't chosen because of their standing in life. They weren't chosen by their background or their name. They weren't chosen because they held some political or religious position. Hello? Am I right? Praise God. Hallelujah. They weren't chosen for their natural talents. They weren't chosen for their intellectual ability. I'm going somewhere this morning. Hallelujah. Some of us, we sit around, we make 101 excuses why we can't do anything for God. Hello? I'm not good enough. I don't know enough. I don't have time. Woo, hallelujah. I want to tell somebody the master's calling. The master's calling. The one who created heaven and earth. The one who breathed into you the breath of righteousness. The one who empowered you. The one who brought you out of darkness. The one who gave you eternal life. He's calling this morning. He's calling. He's calling to his chosen ones. He's calling to a chosen generation. He's calling that we would, hallelujah, stand up and be the salt and the light of the earth. He's calling that we would go into the high highways and the byways and compel them to come in that his house may be full. He's calling us to lift up his name in a dark generation. He's calling us, hallelujah, to represent him as an ambassador of Christ. Oh God, help me to lift up your name. Help me to proclaim your name. Help me to exalt you. Help me to be what you have called me to be. I thank you that you chose me. But with that choosing comes a responsibility and God God is calling for his church to hear what the Spirit is saying in this last day and age. It's a time, it's a time to stand up and be counted a son or a daughter of God. It's a day not to side with the world and not to side with the worldly philosophy, but to get full of the power and get full of the glory and get full of the anointing of God that we might represent him well in this last day. Somebody clap their hands to him. Hallelujah. They were common men. They were common men. They didn't have any particular talent. They were just like us. Hallelujah. They were prone to make mistakes. Oh. And they were used to saying things that they probably shouldn't say. And they were used to doing things that they shouldn't do. They were used to demonstrating the wrong attitude. Hello? At times, they had poor judgment of faith. In fact, Jesus prayed that their faith would fail them not. So that tells me that they weren't always full of faith. There were some times they doubted. There were some times that they wondered. Hallelujah. But Jesus prayed that their faith would fail them not. I believe God is still praying that prayer this morning. Let the church not fail. Let the church not fail. Let the church's faith increase. Let the faith, hallelujah. God wants to empower us this morning. God wants to breathe a breath of renewing upon you. God wants you, hallelujah, to let you be all that he has designed you to be. If you'll just hear his voice, hallelujah, amen, and heed the calling of the master. Hallelujah. They made mistakes. They weren't perfect by any measure. In fact, there's one place in Scripture that Jesus calls them slow learners. <laughs> How would you feel if Jesus walked up and said, you're a slow learner? <laughs> then we begin to look at these individuals. One was a zealot. He was 
radical and he was determined to overthrow the Roman Empire. He wasn't, I think he was signing up because he saw Jesus as a means to fulfill his, his call, God's call. Then we all know about the tax collector. He was hated of everybody. Anybody love the IRS? <laughs> Amen. But in the eyes of the Jews, he was a traitor because he was collecting taxes for Rome. Hallelujah. Not exactly the credentials you would think that Jesus would look for. Four of them and possibly seven of them were fishermen. And the others had to be either tradesmen or craftsmen because the Bible doesn't really tell us what they did for a living. Hallelujah. But one day, they had an encounter with the master. One day, he came walking by on that seashore and he says, come, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. One day, Jesus came walking across your seashore. Hello. I said, there was a day he came walking across your seashore. And he says, come, pick up your cross and follow me. Hallelujah. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. He said, and I'll make you fishers of men. Hallelujah. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about next week. Don't worry about what you have and what you don't have. Just come and follow me. Just come and follow me. Anybody want to follow the master today? Anybody want to hear the voice of the master? Anybody want to say, here I am, God. I may not be what you're exactly looking for. I may not be a religious leader. I may not be an order. I may not be a walking Bible, but I hear your voice, Father, and I'm going to, hallelujah, I'm not going to give it a second thought. I'm cashing in all my chips. I'm picking up my cross, and I'm going to follow you. Where you lead me, I'm going to follow. Where you say go, I'm going to go. Hallelujah. I've, <laughs> I've had an encounter. I've had an experience with the Father. Hallelujah. And I'm going to heed the call. And I'm going to go where he wants me to go. Somebody say praise the Lord. The point is that Christ personally chose them. Hallelujah. And he didn't just choose them and say, that's it. But they were with him when he turned the water into wine. They were with him when the blinded eyes were open and the deaf ears were unstopped. They were with him when the lepers were healed. They were with him, amen, hallelujah, when, when, when amen, hallelujah, he healed, he healed the sick and he even raised the dead. Hallelujah. They were eyewitnesses to the account. Plus, they learned how to pray. Plus, they learned from his teaching on a daily basis. So they didn't just go from being fishermen or tax collector to being an apostle. But there was a training program. They spent time with the master. I'm going to say that again. They spent time with the master. There was a point he called them out. But yet in, he didn't just call them out. He equipped them. And then after they were equipped, he sent them forth. I'm trying to tell somebody in this house that God didn't call you to sit on a chair and do nothing. But God called
called you out. God empowered you. God brought you out of darkness. He gave you the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Not that you can lift up a hand this morning and say, I made it. Hallelujah. I've been saved. Hallelujah. No, he called you. Hallelujah. That he might equip you through the word and through the study and through a desire within your soul to be a light that shines in darkness. And after you have spent some time learning about him and studying about him, then the master says, go forth, go forth, go forth and do as I have done. He said, greater things than this shall ye do. Ye shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You shall cast out devils in my name. Hallelujah. That you will lay hands on them and they shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, he's the same God. Yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. He's got all power in heaven and earth. He's able. He's able. He's able to turn your life around. He's able to put your marriage together. He's able to save your soul. He's able to give you a job. He's able to do whatever it is you need done. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Praise him. He not only taught him how to pray and not only taught him the things of the kingdom, he taught him how to forgive one another. And he also taught him how to serve one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they were jockeying for position, he told them they had the wrong spirit. Hallelujah, because he said, he that's greatest has got to first be the least in the kingdom. Praise God. You don't push your way to the top in God's kingdom. Hallelujah. You, you, I can't help it. I think it's the words of John. He said, I, I must decrease that he might increase. The way up in God's kingdom is that I first bow my knee and learn how to become nothing. For I am nothing. Paul said, within my flesh is no good thing. I'm nothing without him. I'm nothing without Jesus in my life. Hear me this morning. You and I, we are nothing but clay. Hallelujah. We are nothing without the master. I can't do it. Hallelujah. I can't read enough self-help books to make myself, hallelujah, what I need to be. I need the power of God in me to, to change my life. I need the power of God in me, hallelujah, to turn my life around. I need the power of God. Some of you are looking for happiness. I want to tell you that you can look all day long. You can go to every psychologist and psychiatrist. You can read every self-help book that you want. But the true realization is when you come and you allow God to fill you with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, that's when you're going to have some peace. That's when you're going to have some joy. That's when you're going to truly feel happy on the inside. Hallelujah. It's not by our might. It's not by our power. It's not by our ability. It's not by our intellect. It's not by our education. It's not by our lineage. It's by the name, the name that is above Every other name at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every devil in hell trembles. I rebuke the devil this morning. We are the children of God. We are the family of God. We are the chosen of God. He has called us. He has brought us out of darkness. And we are in his equipping phase. And now he is saying, go, go into the world. Hallelujah. And be the salt and be the light that I've called you to be. Clap your hands to him. Hallelujah. They had to learn how to serve one another. They had to learn how to forgive one another. And an amazing thing is, is here God chose 12 what the world proclaimed as uneducated men Commoners. Ever heard that term before? If you got a British heritage, you've heard about commoners. Commoners don't belong in the palace. You know what I'm talking about? The average person 
the common man, the person without the lineage. They don't belong in the palace. You got to have some royal blood. You got to come from a royal lineage. Hallelujah. Well, I don't know where uh, about you, but I was destined on a road to hell. But when I had an encounter with my master, hallelujah, hallelujah, he changed me. He changed me in a moment. He changed me in an instant. Hallelujah. And he, he said uh, if I would confess my sin that he would be faithful to forgive me of my sin. And guess what? He said my sins are forgiven as far as the east is from the west, never to be remembered against me again because of the blood of Calvary because of the blood of Calvary my sins are forgiven my sins are washed away hallelujah I heard the preacher preach and something got a hold of my heart amen and I said here am I God I don't know what I can do in your kingdom I don't know what I can do for you but I need you God I'm tired of this world I'm tired of what I've been through if you're real God I need something real hallelujah coca-cola said it was the real thing they're not the real thing Jesus is the real thing this morning I've come to tell you my God is real I can feel him in my hands I can feel him in my feet I can feel him all over me my God's not dead he's alive I'm glad he called me I'm glad he called me I'm glad he turned me around I'm glad he endued me with some power from on high and it's not just for me, it's for you. Peter said on the day of Pentecost, it's for me and my children and your grandkids and to all of them that are far off, as many as the Lord our God shall call. Aren't you glad God is still calling? I said, aren't you glad that God is still calling? God is still calling people this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. Give him some praise. Give God some praise. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for calling me God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so here it is. A group of 12 common men. And God decides to call them. And he says to Peter upon this rock. I'm going to build my church, and the gates of hell is not going to prevail against it. Peter, upon this rock. Now we all know that Jesus is the rock. He wasn't talking about building it upon Peter, but it was built upon Peter and the apostles' doctrine. They were eyewitnesses. Hallelujah. I said they were eyewitnesses. Hallelujah. He said, upon this rock I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad God's building a church? <laughs> How many of you are part of the church today? Praise God. So he said he's going to build his church upon these apostles. Because they had such outstanding characteristics. Because they were such noble fellows. Whew. Praise God. So even with their flaws and their failures and the mistakes that they made, these men dedicated themselves to the calling of the Lord Jesus Christ. They didn't have natural ability. They weren't the religious sect. But they were available. They were available. I'm trying to tell somebody in this church this morning. 
That God's not looking for your intellect and he's not looking for your education. And he's not looking for your lineage. He's looking for your availability. There could be some missionaries in here. There could be some pastors in here, evangelists in here. Only God knows what he's called you to. But the ones that he uses made themselves available. I don't know about you, but when he filled me with his spirit, I said, here am I, God. I confess that there wasn't anything good in my life. I wasn't offering him much. And I'm still not. But by his grace and by his mercy, oh, hallelujah, by the grace of God and by the mercy of God, by the power of the cross, oh, thank you, Jesus, this morning for the cross. Thank you for that crimson stream of blood that flows from Calvary today. Thank you for the blood that washes me. And thank you for your blood that saves me this morning. Hallelujah. If it wasn't for your blood, Jesus, I could not be here today. But because of what you did for us on the cross of Calvary, hallelujah, you have turned our lives around. You have turned our destiny around. You have equipped us and empowered us with the gift of the Holy Ghost. And we are men and women on a, hallelujah, we are men and women of destiny today. We know who we are and we know where we're going. Hallelujah. This world is not our home. We are pilgrims passing through. We're about to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm waiting to hear him. The trumpet is getting ready to sound. The dead in Christ are going to rise and we which are alive and remain, we're going to be caught up to meet him in the air and so shall we ever be with him. The day is approaching. The day is approaching. The day is approaching. He said when you see these things come to pass, look up your redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. And these men when they spent some time with Jesus, and mind you, he only ministered for what, three, three and a half years. It was a crash course. But after he was gone, they went and did what he told them to do. Hmm. Praise God. They impacted the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And their ministry still continues to this very day. People like you and me. People that made themselves available. People that said, here am I, God. They became instruments of righteousness in the hands of the potter. The Bible says that they spread the gospel to the then known world. Acts 17 and 6 says, These that have turned the world upside down are come hither also. These that have turned the world upside down have come. These that have turned, I'm trying to tell somebody today that God has equipped you and God has empowered you, hallelujah, to turn your world upside down for the cause of the gospel. God has given you the Holy Ghost. God has empowered you. You have studied. You have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. It's time to go forth. It's time to go forth. It's time to go forth. It's time to, go forth. It's time to stop letting the world impact us. We as Christians need to stay. 
stand up and impact the world. I thank God for this Kim Davis in Kentucky. At least she stood up and said, I'm not going to take everything that the world throws down my throat. I'm going to stand. I'm going to take a stand. I'm going to take a stand. He said, stand and see the salvation of the Lord. I want to tell you, you can't just coast merrily, merrily down life stream. You got to stand up and take a stand. Praise God, they turned their world upside down. Now, I know our reasoning, we like to think that there's something special about these men, that they had all this power and ability, and they were no different than you and I. They received the same Holy Ghost that you receive. A song just came into my mind. Something got a hold of my life and it won't let me go. I, I'm going to tell you, Jesus came into my heart. Jesus came into my soul. I'm so glad he got a hold of my life one day and he didn't let me go. Hallelujah. I'm glad today that he picked me up and he turned me around. Oh, God, where would I have been? But, amen. Oh, I'm trying to say, if you didn't hear the gospel, and if you are blessed today to hear the gospel preached, you are blessed today to know Jesus and the power of his might. You are blessed today to be in the presence of the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You're blessed to be in the fellowship of the saints this morning. You're blessed to feel the glory come down. You're blessed to feel the anointing of God. You're blessed with his peace and you're blessed with his joy. And you're blessed that he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but go with you all the way to the end of the world. So I'm going to tell somebody, we need to stop making excuses and quit complaining for what we don't have. And we need to get a hand in the air and begin to thank God for the blessings he has given us in fact you can go through the Bible and I'm thinking of when they anointed David to be king when the prophet went to Jesse's house to find one of his sons to be the next king of Israel, they certainly didn't think it was going to be David. <laughs> Praise God. When God called Moses, Moses began to make all kinds of excuses why he wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. and by the same token, when God calls you and I, What's the first thing the flesh wants to do? Not me, God. That's not you, God. What could I possibly do for you, Jesus? Why don't you call Brother Tibbs? Hey, I got news for you, church. You are the church of the living God. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. I'm waiting for the day when my phone stops ringing and you all quit asking me to go pray for everybody. And you get full of the Holy Ghost and you go pray for somebody. Now, I'm not complaining. I'll gladly go. And I'll do my best to get there. But God has called you. He said he's given you power. He's given you authority. He said, you will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. If you've got Jesus living on the inside of you, you've got everything that you need. You don't need to call me. Go boldly into that hospital room or on your job and say, in the name of Jesus, I command you to be made well and whole. You said, by your stripes, we are healed. I claim that virtue. I claim that power. I claim the anointing of God. God. It's not by my might. It's not by my power. It's by the name. The name that is above every other name. I can pray for you. I can't heal you. But I know a God in heaven who's able today. He's able to part the waters. He's able to feed the 5,000. He's able to bring you out of the fiery furnace. He's able to heal your body. 
Somebody give him some praise. Somebody give him some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So what does this mean? This means that these few men, these unqualified men, without what we would call much of a background, with these ordinary traits of life, with these ordinary skills, in just a few months of training by the master, the Lord sends them and gives them a monumental task to perform. Their training literally took about half as long as what people today spend in seminary. Think about that. But I like what Paul said, my, I come not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but I come in power and in demonstration. <laughs> I come not to give you a word that, hey man, hallelujah, that, I'm, in other words, not a man of oratory. But I've come in the power and the demonstration of the one who brought me out of darkness. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. I'm trying to tell somebody today, you don't have to be the Bible scholar. You don't have to know every word of the Bible memorized. All you got to do is go out there and be a witness. All you got to do is go out there and tell somebody what God has done for you. They can't argue with your testimony. You can tell them how God put your life back together. How God saved your marriage. How God gave you a job when you didn't have a job and put a roof over your, your head and put food on your table and healed your body. Hallelujah. How he saved your soul. That's your testimony today. You didn't, hallelujah. He's just looking for somebody that says, here am I, God. Use me for your glory and use me for your kingdom. I've got a desire to be part of your kingdom, Father. What is it you want me to do? First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.26, he says, For you see your calling. Every one of us has been called. Every one of us has been called. So he says, For you see your calling, brethren, how that many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things. Of the world to confound the wise. <laughs> God has chosen you fishermen. Without a religious background. To turn the world upside down. And God has chosen the weak things of the world. To confound the things that are mighty. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised hath God chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I didn't deserve his mercy. I didn't deserve his grace. I didn't deserve the gift of the Holy Ghost. In fact, I probably shouldn't even be here this morning. But God in his wisdom and God in his grace and God in his mercy. He had, hallelujah, he had mercy upon us. Hallelujah, he's forgiven us. He's washed us. He's cleansed us. And God has chosen the foolish things. The scripture says, by the foolishness of preaching, he's chosen to save them that are lost. To the world, what I'm doing this morning is foolish. But to God, it's the method of salvation. Hallelujah. If God be for us, who can be against us? I don't care what the world says. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of salvation. 
It's the power of God. I said, it's the power of God. It's the power of God. God gave you the Holy Ghost. And Acts 1 and 8 says, ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That you might be a witness unto him. You've received the power. You've received the anointing. You've received the calling. Hallelujah. So... God is calling his army to come to attention. God is calling his army for deployment this morning. God is calling all the uncommon men and women in this building to say, here am I, God. I don't know what I can do, but whatever it is you want me to do, I'm going to do it with all my heart. I'm going to do it with all my might. I'm going to do it with all my strength. Somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Now we can say a lot about the apostles, but the point is, is God called them. If it was you and me doing the calling, we would have disqualified a lot of folk. But God did the calling. Amen. Amen. And God did the investing. He has invested into you. This is just me. I'm sorry, but I got to throw my two cents in here. Some of you have heard so much preaching in your lifetime, you don't need to hear another sermon. Now, don't stay home next Sunday because I said you don't need to hear another sermon. But we become spiritual sponges and we continually want to soak stuff up. It's time to give some stuff away. Let them see Jesus in you. Give some love away. Give some kindness away. Give a soft answer in the middle of wrath away. Demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit and demonstrate the love of God in your life. Mm, I could have preached all day and not said that. Praise God. God wants us to demonstrate his character. Hallelujah. He chose them before they even knew him. And the process of choosing and calling them happened at different stages. First, he called them to a place of conversion. Amen. And he illustrated that we are all first called to salvation. Our first calling in life is, it's not his will that any of us should perish, but all of us come to everlasting life. The call of God goes forth continually on a daily basis. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Even those that don't even hear the gospel preach, the scripture says that they are without excuse because every day that the sun comes up is a testimony of his power. Every night when the moon comes out is the testimony of his power. Every time a plant grows or a tree brings forth fruit, it's a testimony of the creation of God. We are without excuse today. God is all around us. That God is all around us this morning. I thank him for that today. I'm glad to know he's wherever I'm at. In my time of need, in my time of trouble, in my good times and in my bad times, God is always present. God is always present. God is with you this morning. He's in you. He's with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Sometimes we get thinking that God's a million miles away. He's not a million miles away. He's right here. He's right here. In fact, there's no place you can go that he's not. So God has called every person here this morning. Just like he called the disciples, he said, come, follow me. Come, follow me. Come, follow me. Pick up your cross and follow me. 
Yes, there's going to be difficult days. And yes, there's going to be bad days and good days. But come and follow me. Come and follow me. Oh, I want to. There's sometimes I hear people say, oh, it just costs too much to live for God. God wants too much. No, he doesn't. You just got to keep following. What do you got to go back to? I said, there's nothing to go back to. Don't forget where he brought you from. Don't forget how he turned your life around. Don't forget all the blessings he has bestowed upon you. Hallelujah. There's only one way. Hallelujah. God's way. I'm not going to look to the left. I'm not going to look to the right. I'm not going to look behind me. I got my eyes on the prize. As Paul said, I'm going to press towards the mark for the prize and the high calling of Christ Jesus. I'm going to press forward. I got to press forward. It's not a day to give up. It's not a day to give up. It's not a day to quit. It's not a day to throw in the towel. I'm going to keep on keeping on for the Lord. So God calls us all. Then he calls us into ministry. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. It's great that you're saved but now what I said it's great that you're saved but now what are you working in the kingdom I don't have time to go into a long story but I'm reminded of a fig tree and the the Lord said that if that fig tree didn't produce some fruit that it was good for nothing and it was taking up space He said, cut it down and throw it in the fire for it's good for nothing. I don't want God to come walking back into my life, hallelujah, and say, you're good for nothing. You're just taking up space. Help me, Jesus, to bear some fruit. Help me, Jesus, to be the man I ought to be. Help me to become more like you, God. Help me, I pray this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Not to just be a man, a man that takes up space, but help me to be productive in your kingdom. See, God called you out of darkness. Thank him for that. Thank God for calling you out. But now God is calling you to serve. Mm. I don't have time, Pastor. You better make some time for God. What if God says, I don't have time for you? Mm. I don't have time to pray, Pastor. You don't have much of a relationship if you don't talk to your spouse. And Jesus is our husband. We're the bride. Heaven's calling this morning. Praise God. God called you to serve. And then the third thing he's calling us to, as you well know in Matthew chapter 10, he said, In verse 5, these 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Freely you have received, freely give. I know some of you are saying, but they were the apostles. You know what the qualifications of an apostle is? Not the qualifications, but the meaning of the term. All apostle means is they that are sent. They were sent by Jesus into the world to accomplish his work. And God is still sending you and I into the world to accomplish his purpose. 
Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Don't get so caught up in a title of apostle. God has called you and God has equipped you and God is sending you. He's sending you, hallelujah, to a lost and dying world that don't have a hope without him. Amen. This world needs to see Jesus. I said this world needs to see Jesus. The world needs to see him high and lifted up. Hallelujah. They need to see blinded eyes open. They need to see the devils cast out. And Jesus said, greater things than this shall you do. Hallelujah. And he sent them forth. And he is still sending us into the world today. So he calls you out of darkness. He calls you to serve. And he calls you and I to go. The last calling for the apostles was the calling to martyrdom. Each of them died a horrific death. My prayer this morning, oh God, spare us of that horrific death. Don't call me to martyrdom. The only scriptures that I can rely on this morning is the Bible tells me that he's coming after a bride. That's made herself ready without spot, without wrinkle, without blemish. That's looking for his soon return. Hallelujah. In the story of the virgins, he reminds us that you got to be full of his spirit in order to, to go up with the bridegroom. The bridegroom is coming. His name is Jesus. He's coming after his church. He's coming after his bride. You got to be looking for him. You got to be waiting for him. You got to be in tune with the spirit, if you will, this morning. Hallelujah. The spirit is speaking to the world today. God is speaking. Are we listening? He said, he that hath an ear. Let them hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. The Spirit is saying to the church, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. The bridegroom's about to come. And the scripture says he's not appointed his, his bride to wrath. So somehow I kind of believe he's going to rescue me. I just believe he's going to rescue me. Anybody want to believe that with me this morning? <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, I'll not put more upon you than you're able to bear, but with every temptation, I will make a way of escape. He rescued me from the cold, dark waters. <laughs> oh, thank you for rescuing me, Jesus. Thank you for rescuing me, God. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for empowering me. Thank you for equipping me. Thank you for sending me, God. Thank you for the privilege to serve in your kingdom. Thank you for the privilege of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the blessings of God in my life. I'm just about done. I'm going to wrap it up. He didn't choose a rabbi. He didn't choose a scribe. He didn't choose a Pharisee. And he didn't choose the Sadducees. He didn't choose a priest. None of the men that he chose came from a religious establishment. But he chose 12 ordinary men. He chose 12 ordinary men. John chapter 2 verse 13. He says, and the Jews, Passover was at hand. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the char changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he got mad. He drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers money and overthrew the tables. And he said unto them that sold does, take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. The religious world has turned his house into a place of commerce. But if I read my Bible right, he said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. 
Praise God. Praise God. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say when Jesus walked into the temple, he wasn't happy with what he saw. And he struck a blow at traditional Judaism. And he, in a sense, unmasked the religious nobles of the day. And he called them thieves and he called them hypocrites. And he condemned their spiritual bankruptcy. He exposed their apostasy. And he publicly rebuked their sin. And he indicated from his actions and his word that he hated. What was going on? And the thing about it is, that's how he began his ministry. He made a splash, didn't he? He went in, he says, this has all got to go. Can I tell you, brothers and sisters, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. If God comes walking into our temple, what's he going to see? There's some things that's got to go. There's some stuff that's got to go. <sighs> I feel it in the Holy Ghost this morning. If you allow God to come in and throw the tables of your temple down and, and get rid of all the wrong attitudes and all the wrong ideas and things, thought patterns perhaps, and... Allow him to become Lord of your life. Oh, hallelujah. Allow him to empower you. Allow him to equip you and allow him to send you. No telling what you can do for the kingdom. And it could be said of you and me that these are they that have turned the world upside down for the cause of Jesus Christ. The musicians will come. He chose 12 ordinary men, common men, for an uncommon calling. It certainly wasn't because of their intellect or their ability, but it was because of their availability. It was because they said, Lord, you're the potter. And I am the clay. Father, mold me and make me into what I need to be. They put their lives into the hand of the master. And he began to shape them. And he began to mold them. And he began to make them into what they needed to be. Stand with me this morning. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10 or 20 rather says where is the wise where is the scribe where is the disputer of the world of this world hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world for after in the wisdom of God the world by wisdom knew not God that it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe aren't you glad that you believe the glorious gospel aren't you glad that you said one day father you're the potter and I'm the clay have your way in my life hallelujah let's entertain him a moment close your eyes lift your hands to heaven let the Lord sweep over this place. God is calling somebody today. Oh, God, walk these aisles this morning. Let your angels have charge round about us. Touch a hungry heart today, God. Touch a soul that will say, here am I, God, use me. There's a call going forth this morning. And I wonder 
if you would step out from where you're at and you'd come down to this altar and say, God, I don't know what I can do, but here am I, God, use me. As they sing this song, will you come and make a dedication and a consecration at the altar this morning? Here they come. Come on. Oh, God. Lead me, Lord. I'm going to go where you want me to go, God. Come on. Come down, lift your hands. Close your eyes. Don't look around. Say, God, here am I. Here am I, Lord. Lead me, Lord. I will go to come call me. I will answer. Lead me, Lord. I will go. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, I will answer. Lead me, Lord, I Please. 